All right. So um, a few days ago, an influencer by Jenny69 was actually um, on live, on TikTok live with a guy named Gabriel, uh, another influencer. And people were asking like, yo, did you get invited? Blah, blah, blah. Jenny actually said, no, I, I did not get invited. Stop asking me. We're not cool. And uh, yeah, this this happened on her live. But this is for context. So here it is. Gabriel, are you going to Laura's wedding? No. I wasn't invited. <laughs> I, I was like, oh. like, I kept telling him, stop asking me. Like, I'm not going. Me and her aren't cool. Yeah, like, you are in a sense because y'all aren't cool. Yeah, oh, but some people like, don't know about what happened. Oh, oh, what happened? How much do they know about what happened? If you scroll and you look for it, like, you could find it. Okay. Don't trip, guys. I'm the cheese reporter. I'll let you guys know what happened. Stay tuned. True, because you and Ani did the live, right? Yeah. Annie's her sister, Annette. Just for those that don't know. All right. Let me let me pause it right there. But that's basically what happened. And, you know, I was getting people, you know, not knowing what ha what had happened, right? But, you know, like I said, I was covering Cheeseman in the YouTube community. And, of course, I covered it. So if you guys don't remember, uh, basically... Uh, it happened a year ago. It happened a year ago where Annette 69, Jenny's sister, and uh, Cassie MUA were involved in an altercation at a party. I think it was a party bus of some sort. Yeah, party bus. And uh, they stopped to eat. <laughs> I think it was Raising Canes. They stopped to eat Raising Canes. And well, as Annette was getting off, she heard uh, a gag, like a uh, bad. <laughs> Cassie moved her leg. So Annette thought, you know, this is what, what was said online. Annette thought it was, you know, she was gagging because she walked by. She might have farted. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And, uh, yeah. So after that, Annette gets off the bus. She said, what did you say? And, yeah, she went, uh, <laughs> she went loco or loca, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, she went live, too, talking about the, the situation. And this is what she said. About Cassie and Laura Mellado. Myself, that I'm finally sticking up for myself because, like I said, thank you, dude, for the two This bucks. has been an ongoing thing for years, years. <sighs> hey, Eddie. <laughs> and you know, y'all already know that I'm real with you guys. You know, and sometimes like it's hard to be a hundred percent real because. Social media, it's a fantasy. You know what I mean? But it's a like, fantasy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And, like, I feel like it's so important for me to share this with you guys because, like, you know, these are people you follow. Like, you you think that, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to say too much about that. But, like, you guys always have my back. And, like, even today, like, I was like, I can't believe that this happened. Like, am I in the wrong? You know, like, did I do something wrong? But I know in my heart, I did nothing wrong 1000%. And I just feel like I have to share that with you guys. Then uh, Laura and Vic, they're approaching me. And Laura pretty much starts off um, by saying like, so what's going on? You know, like whatever, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, you know what's going on. You know what I mean? You, and she was bucks. just kind of like trying to be the mediator and stuff. But I literally told her, I was like, you know what? Like, honestly, I don't know why you're the one that's out here talking to me. I feel like Cassie should be the one to um, be talking to me because Laura is literally like Cassie's little mom. And she literally babies her for everything. Like Ca Laura has already tried to apologize to me for Cassie like two years years ago like girl are we not adults can you not use your mouth i don't know <laughs> so whatever so laura is saying that and i you know i told her i was like i feel like Cash cassie should be the one here like why is she not here and then that's when vic kind of like butted in and he was like well do you want me to like explain the situation to you or like not like just tell me like yes or no and i was like there's no explaining that needs to be done i literally witnessed it it's literally my business like what are you talking about he's like so you don't want me to explain anything i was like no and then they were like all right let's go, let's go. me let me sit up they were like all right, let's go. Cassie, come And they walk away. All right, so I had to blur that out because it was cussing, and back in, back then I didn't want to get copyright or, you know, a strike or whatever. No, but basically she was saying that, um, you know, 
Laura Mayado was saying, Cassie, come F this girl up. Come fuck this bitch up or a girl or whatever. Okay, that's what she's saying. I had to blur it, but that's what she said. Laura, Laura walked away screaming, Cassie, come girl. What? <laughs> and girl, did I not just, why is mommy Laura coming out here? Yes. Facts. It says, here we go. It says, hey, Alan, I ain't got no problems with you, but if your friend has a problem with me, tell her let's handle it. Did I not tell you to say it to my face? Was I not ready to... So Cassie messaged Alan I's, you know, part of uh, Annette's group, friend group. Her up right then and there. I literally was begging you to come out. So I'm a little bit confused about that. I will say that. And this was at 2.59 a.m. So this was already obviously like after the party, you know, sweetheart. Um, so I know she's been having a problem with me since years ago, but I dropped that shit cause I ain't got no issues. But the fact that I can't even message her myself cause she has me blocked says a lot. Of course, if she's going to, uh, start something, I'm gonna back it up. She's not blocked. She has never <laughs> been blocked. The only one that is blocked now as of 10, uh, last night is Laura, Laura and Laura's mom. <laughs> They're both blocked and Laura's boutique. Bye. Uh -oh. oh, and Vic. Yeah. And Vic too. So, um, she's definitely not blocked. All right. So that's what happened. This is the reason Jenny69 and Laura, Laura Mellado are not cool. Um, I know a lot of people are wondering, like, well, yo, what the heck happened? Yes, it was cheese man from a year ago, guys. From a year ago. Um, so basically, you know, Jenny69 has to back up her sister. All right. Who wouldn't back up her sister? Okay. And I believe um, after that, like, they both went live together and kind of basically you know gave their thoughts but that's what happened that's why jenny 69 isn't cool with laura and that's why she did not go to the wedding so there you have it let me know your concerns thoughts below <laughs> um it was very petty yeah i mean i feel like it was just a misunderstanding coming from annette but i don't know it it we weren't there. We don't know the the full context. And like people say, yo, there's always three sides to the story. Um, I hate it when my ex husband called my name in Spanish, Laura. Sorry, Lo Laura. <laughs> no, that's how we say it in Spanish, Laura. Uh, did she have her baby yet? Yes. No. Maybe I think she did. I think she did. Um, but yeah. But. Yeah, guys, that's all I have for the cheese, man. If there's anything else. You're fucking scared me, bitch.